saw it, but probably not as early as I should have done. It was very okay. bright, but not as low down as it might have been. Yeah, so we've had beautiful pictures of, of people who I think maybe saw it a little bit earlier than you, Susie. Look at these spectacular photos. The hunter's moon, and we get these super moons when the moon is closest to the Earth. That's when they, when they appear biggest and brightest. So thank you so much if you sent those to us. We've really enjoyed looking through them. As for today, though, we still had some lovely pictures. Earlier on this morning, it was the fog and the mist, and that's gradually lifted and left us with lots of sunshine and blue sky, some patchy cloud around as well. And as for the rest of the weekend, there is going to be some showers around, but also some gusty winds on, on Sunday, thanks to Storm Ashley. We'll come back to that shortly. For tonight, it will be clear for some of us, but you'll notice this weather front starts to track in. So as we head overnight, that's when we could hear some heavier spells of rain uh, start to come through. So you'll see a trickle, the odd shower initially tonight, a bit cloudier, and then that cold front starts to move in through the early hours. You'll see the greens and the blues where that rain is likely to be heaviest, quite mild. Look at those temperatures between 10 and 12 degrees. But once that front clears, now it will linger. I think for parts of the North Norfolk coast, likely to see some rain later in the day on Saturday. Otherwise, a bit more settled and a little bit brighter. So yeah, not looking too great first thing, but an improving picture into the afternoon. There we go, the sunshine eventually arrives. Maybe a little bit of rain just left lingering behind it, but generally between 14 and 16 degrees. So another fairly mild day tomorrow. And as we head overnight into the evening as well, it will stay largely clear and actually quite dry. Now, Sunday, a slightly different picture. This is Storm Ashley, known by the Irish Met Service. That clears, so for us, it's not gonna necessarily be that wet, but it is gonna be very windy. You can see Cambridge on the map there. So that's that rain moving through. We are gonna eventually see that later in the day. It does dry up, but our wind gusts, particularly on the coast, but, but pretty much anywhere, could be between 30 and 45 five miles an hour so it's going to be very very blustery and then really as we head towards uh, next week into monday still some rain lingering i think on monday temperatures down slightly back to around average as we head into the rest of the week and by tuesday wednesday i think we should start to see some sunshine and something a bit more settled susie that's definitely a week of two halves <laughs> isn't it thanks jill